Hi, I'd like to welcome you to Cisco Kit CCNA certification topic of understanding interface characteristics. What we're going to look at in this short instructional video is some of the output produced by your Cisco router by running the show interface command. You're going to find this information really helpful in helping you troubleshoot issues going on with the router or just to really understand what is happening with the router and how it's set up. So without further ado, let, let's bounce on over to our hyperterminal session. But before that, we want to understand by running the show interface command, we're going to be able to look at system interfaces and not only see what sort of interfaces the router has, but how much traffic each interface is handling, what sort of network er errors the router may be seeing, and a whole slew of further detail about the networks and what's attached to the router. Now, if we want to see every interface on a router, We'll type show interfaces. So let's we'll go to our exec prompt, type show interfaces, hit enter. And as we see here on the screen, we see Ethernet 0 is up, line protocol is up. If we tap the space bar, we see it has a serial 0 interface. Tap it again, there's a serial 1 interface also. So this is a 2501 router and it has a single Ethernet interface and two serial interfaces. Depending upon the type of router you have, you may have more or less interfaces on your particular router. Now, if I wanted to see just a particular interface instead of looking at all the interfaces, what I might want to type is show interface E0. And in that case, it just brings up the information on the Ethernet interface. And if I tap the spacebar, it's done. Now, so the first line we want to look at was is we do a show interface. We're going to see a lot of information here. Um, and this is going to vary to some extent between Ethernet interfaces and uh, serial interfaces. But let's start off here with this Ethernet interface. The first thing and most important we saw here is Ethernet 0 is up and the line protocol is up. This means the physical cable that's plugged into the interface and that the router sees a signal coming from it. If the interface is unused or empty or if there's some physical problem with the circuit, the status would be down. So if the cable is unplugged, we would see down. If your interface is up, there's a good chance there's no physical problem with the network. If it's down, could be a problem with the transceiver in this situation, somebody unplugged the patch cable, things along those lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the Ethernet patch cable from the router and you see that the router threw an error back to us saying that the line protocol and Ethernet interface um, 0 changed to down. So let's again just go back into a show interface E0 and actually that's a lot to type out so what I'm going to do you can use the up arrow and that's going to use this, the last command that you issued so it, it's a little bit of a shortcut for you to not have to retype a command so here we see Ethernet E0 is up and the line protocol is down and that, that was because I pulled the patch cable out so if you ever see that you know that's the first thing to look at your physical cabling so now what I want to do I'm going to bring you right back there and I want to plug the patch cable back into the router we'll see what happens and momentarily here it goes we see that the line protocol for Ethernet for interface Ethernet 0 this change the state back to up. Now, let's look at that line again, but this time instead of using the up arrow to bring up the command, I'm kind of lazy and I I want to abbreviate the commands because the Cisco IOS supports that. So instead of show, I could just do sh and instead of typing out interface E0, I could just do int E0 and I get the same information. So um, we notice now Ethernet 0 is up, line protocol is up. 
Now the next line, hardware is Lance. Um, what that is, it's actually s obscure reference to some hardware that the Cisco router uses that's on board. There's no public database saying what that is, but that's the information stating, hey, this is the Ethernet interface. <coughs> the next line we see here is the description, and that's something I actually labeled, and I put on it internal LAN. This is going to be very helpful when you are you have a lot of interfaces on a router and you don't remember exactly where each one went to or things along those lines. So let's say if this was a WAN uh, interface and you have a T1 circuit going to your San Jose office, what you might label as your description here is T1 to San Jose, um, something along those lines. Below that we see our IP address, internet address. I have it configured as 192.168.1.1 and I have it shows slash 24 that is my subnet mask which signifies 255.255.255.0 um, the next line we have there is the MTU or maximum transmission unit for and for most devices on the internet that's 1500 bytes as shown here if yours is different well someone said it that way for some particular reason you know, changing this value will increase the fragmentation of packets that pass through your network and is generally not advised. If your MTU on the Ethernet interface isn't 1500 bytes um, or on a T1 circuit also, that's probably going to be whatever problem you're having if you're having you know, some sort of communication issue. Uh, larger circuits such as a DS3 or such, they have their own um, MTU values which differ and also, messing around with them is probably not a good idea unless you just want to, you know, run into problems. But you should always check with your service provider to see what they advise for setting those um, settings at. Now, right to the right of that, we see BW, and it's at um, 10,000 kilobits. And the BW stands for our total bandwidth of this interface. This could be vital information if you're trying to determine why your router seems to be slow. If your router can't, if your router can handle um, 10,000 kilobits per second, and you try to cram, I don't know, two, three times that amount of data through your network, well, you're going to also run into some probably pretty serious problems. So you probably don't want to mess with that too much. Now, if, if we bounce down, this is the last thing we're going to really touch on. Um, the show interface command because otherwise this could be a half an hour long video is our encapsulation now encapsulation that is set per interface and you know they will differ for Ethernet we use ARPA um, and that's used for all Ethernet interfaces and serials they have different encapsulations like HDLC or what have you but this is where the we discussed before about the line protocol what up and down um, is set. So if your line protocol, if your line is up but your line protocol is down, this setting might need to be changed. Maybe set a wrong encapsulation or something along those lines. So I, I hope this information, you know, has helped clarify some of the settings you'll see within and data that you'll see within the show interface command and. We'll expand upon this in a later video and really go through all the different information there so you can start looking at things such as some of the errors that you might see or how many things along those lines. But there will be much more information you'll be able to find, many more free Cisco certification materials and resources at our website www.ciscokits.com. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to you listening to our other videos.